Hi, welcome back. This is Eitan Shalom at the Body Mind Wellness Center. Part two of needling my patient with low back pain, chronic low back pain that's of a muscular origin that uh, developed uh, after a car accident, although she tends to have a tight back. And um, so I'm going to explain what these uh, needles are, but I'm going to show you how I dry needle. Um, this is the motor point. It's not a trigger point. It's the motor point of the gluteus minimus and medius muscles. It overlaps. And so I've already palpated to find the tender spot. Normally I would hold the tube with one hand while I, but I can, I can do this easily enough. And now I'm going to tap the needle in. And this was the tube that the needle was in. That helps you stabilize the needle. And now I'm going to insert it. I'm going to, you'll notice that I'm vibrating the needle as I put it in. That makes the insertion more comfortable, less painful. And take a, a deep breath now. And so we have to get through some fatty tissue. And now I'm into the muscle. This is called lifting and thrusting. And you, you do this to get a better, there we go. Did, did you feel that move a little bit? A little bit, but not a lot. Not okay. Painful. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I can feel that that's in there. So this is what I've done. Um, you saw what I did on the other side with the uh, aponeurosis of the abdomen, and I have stimulated the motor points of the glute medius minimus on this side, on both sides, and then I have needled the motor point of the quadratus lumborum here and that one we got a very nice um, release on when I needle that how do I know it's getting a release for two reasons one is that I can see the muscle jump a little bit that's called the muscle twitch response and two I can feel that through the needle and when you, when you know you're in the right spot because you put the needle in and it feels like unworked clay. And then by the time you come back and, and remove the needle, the needle, the, the clay feels like it's been worked. Again, there are some physical therapists that just get that twitch response and then pull the needle out and you're done. Uh, I prefer to ne leave the needle in for a while because 99% of the time, uh, I observe that when I come back and re-stimulate the needle before I remove it, I get a much larger response than I did initially. And that's because once the person has relaxed, and you, because you're also, when you needle, you're also uh, stimulating an endorphin response, um, then you're able to uh, pick up from where you left off. And now you've, you're able to get the muscle into a much more a uh, loose and relaxed state. Um, I also, uh, my, I don't, um, a lot of times when you go to the physical therapist, you're, you're, you're going to be seeing them for multiple visits per week. And I, I don't do that. I like to get as much done in one session as I can. Um, I have also, um, done some general trigger points in the, uh, muscles here um uh, on both sides although i didn't do it here because it wasn't necessary so these are again uh trigger point areas in these uh muscles along the spine here and then i also uh did small needles into the sacroiliac joint uh, especially in female patients a lot of times when there's low back pain because women have wider pelvises, the SI joint can be fixated. And so I like to needle into the SI joint as well. Uh, one more thing I'm going to be doing on her, which I didn't do yet. Well, actually I won't be doing, but what I might have done, she's wearing gloves. What I might have done is this point here, small intestine three. This is acupuncture now. With this point here, UB62, because that point combination relaxes the entire spine and all of the muscles related to the spine. So that's a very nice point combination for overall relaxation of the spine. And um, it's also a nice combination if someone's back is tight as a result of psychological tension involving frustration. And another point that I often do but didn't do today 
uh, is these points up here on the upper trapezius. Uh, these are acupuncture points. They happen to be the motor point of the upper trapezius as well. But they are points that are forbidden during pregnancy because they have a general, uh, generally relaxation, relaxing effect on the pelvis. So those are excellent points when someone has low, a tight low back because it relaxes the entire lower body. Often when there's a tight low back, there's also a tight pelvic area. And it's, they're also fabulous stress points for the kind of uh, frustration and pressure that people feel in modern life. And so when someone has low back pain and they're feeling very stressed out, I'll often do those points. I actually do those points on this patient often, but I didn't today because of the points that I did on the front um, that you saw in the earlier video. Thank you for tuning in. This is Eitan Shalom, and thank you to my patient.